Well, hello there, everybody. It is Blake, and I'm back with a very exciting, super special video. It's all Frozen themed today, yes. And it's something I haven't really done in a while in terms of like video content that I include on my channel here. But it is kind of like an unboxing, I guess. I don't know. I've seen a few people do these on YouTube, and I didn't even like plan on doing it. I was just literally at the store shopping, and I saw them, and I was like, oh, that'd be really cute if I did a video of that. And I was like, oh wait, other people have too. So I guess it's like kind of a thing. I don't know. I saw these. They were on sale for $2.99 each. They are the little Frozen fashions, which I actually had no idea what they were until I had saw a video on YouTube for them, but they're like little squishy figurines, I guess you'd call them. So there's six different styles in series one, I believe it is. Okay, I'll let you see. I don't know if you guys can see them, but who do we have? From right to left, there's Olaf, Kristoff, Anna, Elsa, Pavi, and Sven. So I don't know if there are any of the ones that I'm gonna have inside these. I bought four of them and they were on sale for $2.99 each just at the store. And I was like, I'm gonna get some, film a video for it. Hopefully it's like a good video. I don't know, like I said, I haven't done one of these videos in a long time. So I guess let's get down to it and see what they are. And like I said, I never even heard about fashions before I actually saw the videos on YouTube. So it's not as if I like went on a hunt to find them. I was just at the store and I saw that they were on sale for $2.99 and I was like, might as well get some of them. They're Disney, they're frozen, they're super cute. So. Let's see who we can get then. Okay, we're gonna open it. Oh my goodness, it's a little baby Olaf. Super duper cute. Okay, I don't know what this is. Instructions? Please retain this information. Yeah, right. Okay, so, oh, he's very sticky. Oh, he's very squishy as well. So I don't exactly know what a fashion even is. It doesn't even say what it is on here though. Like it's, I guess it's literally just a figurine. It's by Tech for Kids Inc, I think is what the brand is. Super squishy fashions, one fashion included. Squishy fashion fun. Fashion? How is this fashion? It's a little frozen figurine, but anyways. Okay, so here it is. This is Olaf. The paint job is kind of like really sloppy. He's missing like half of his eye. No, oh, nobody is squishy. You guys can see, just like the package says, super duper squishy. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but he is like quite sticky. So I don't know if that's supposed to be like actually how they are or what, but you can like pull his arms and stretch them out and pop out his eyeballs. Yeah, so $2.99 for this fun is always a good deal from Disney. Let's see who else we have then. So there's one. We can get the option for five more. Let's see if I get any doubles. I hope not. I wish there was an easier way to open these things. Probably should have got a knife. I'll be right back. I'm gonna grab a knife. Okay, so I'm back with a knife now. Don't use a knife without adult supervision. You guys know the rules. Don't hurt yourself. Hopefully I don't hurt myself. I'm an adult, but danger is everywhere. Okay. Oh my goodness, let it go because we have a little Elsa with some black stuff in her hair. A girl needs to have a shower. Um, there you go, you can see a little squishy. Oh, she's not even squishy. Okay, she's like really hard and she has a suction cup, but that's what everyone was saying in the video. It's like, oh, it's like a little suction cup. So I don't know if that's normal, if that's not normal. I don't know, because I don't know about these things, but I mean, we'll just find out. She doesn't really suction, so boo. Oh my, oh my gosh. You guys can like lift up. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Ripping off Elsa's weave, you know, in the movie when she like lets her hair down. We just took that to a whole nother level, ripping off her hair. Okay, so I don't think that's supposed to happen, but I don't really know. So anyways, there it is. Super cute little Elsa. Yeah, the paint jobs on these things are super sloppy. She has like blue all over her face, black in her hair. She's missing like part of her dress where her hand is. I don't know what they're doing with these things when they're making them, but there's little Elsa. So yay for that. Let's see if we can collect all like the main ones. So let's see if we get Anna next. Oh my god, I didn't even know. There's like actually a little place for you to pull and then it opens. Let's see how easy it is. It's not easy. Next. Oh my goodness, it's Anna! Okay, girl has black stuff in her hair too. They both need to shower. There's no showers up in Arendelle apparently. Her head is so like voluminous. Her hair is huge, so full of secrets. Again, same thing. You can pull her hair off there. That's, that's an awesome look for Anna. She's like, you know what guys? I'm just gonna let my hair down today. Take it off. Same idea with her, she has a little suction cut, but... Oh, hers is more suctioning than Elsa's is. You can hear it, listen. Oh my god, there we go. Oh, her eyes are closed as well. She has a better paint job than Anna and Olaf do, I must say. Hers isn't like super sketchy or weird, but the details on her dress aren't even painted. She has like the accents and stuff, but they're not painted. That's kind of weird. But anyways, there's cute little Anna. She's going like... She's so happy. I guess good things are happening in Arendelle with her and Kristoff, so she must be smiling pretty big. Last one, let's see who it is. Hopefully it's not a double. I still can get Kristoff, Tabby, or Sven, so I hope for all of them. Last one, who is it? 
It's another Elsa. That's okay, I don't mind. Okay, cool. So, here she is. Another Elsa. Let's compare between the first one and the second one. This one's definitely better. She has a way better paint job. She doesn't have dirty hair. Her eyes are where they're supposed to be. They're not like missing a bunch of spots. She's still missing part of her dress where her hand is, but there's the new Elsa. There's the old Elsa. Super duper cute. They're like BFFs. Adorable. I love it. Let's see if she suctions down more. Mm, kind of, but not super much. Oh well. Okay, so those are all the fashions that I got today in this little mini fashion haul. I got three of my favorites, Anna, Elsa, and Olaf. Super exciting to have three now. It's like a little complete Frozen set of the main characters, which is super fun. But I have an extra Elsa, so I don't know what I'm gonna do with that one. Maybe I should just do a giveaway. Yes, I didn't even actually plan on doing a giveaway for this because I had no idea which ones I was gonna get in this little haul, but I mean, I don't need two Elsas, so what's better to do than a giveaway? So I figured, why not throw a little giveaway contest in the middle of this video, just like randomly. So if you want to participate in the giveaway, leave a comment down below telling me what your favorite character from Frozen is. We'll use that as the contest. All the rules and regulations and everything to participate in the contest will be down in the Marvel box below. But of course you have to be subscribed to me just so that I can actually send you a message on YouTube to tell you if you are the winner. So yeah, it's super easy. All you have to do is leave a comment down below in the comment section and tell me who your favorite character is from Frozen and you could win a cute, adorable little Elsa fashion. Who doesn't want to win Elsa, right? Then you guys can sing Let It Go together. You can pull up her hair and like, I don't know, you can do whatever you want with her. But if you want to win, you have to enter the contest. So <laughs> leave a comment down below. Okay, and that's it for the fashions. So those are all the ones that I got today. We're not done my little haul though, because I did get some amazing fashions, but I also got some other exciting things to do while I was shopping as well. So I figured why not include those in this video as well. Oh my gosh, it just keeps on going. It's never ending, right? So I also went and when I was at the store where I got the fashions, I saw this little guy and I was like, you know, I need that. It's cheap. It was only $4.99 and I was like, what a good deal for a new pop figurine. Five bucks for the little Oswald Rabbit vinyl figure. This is Disney collection number 65. Epic Mickey Oswald Rabbit. There's also the Mickey Mouse version from Epic Mickey as well, which is number 64. So I saw this one and it was for $4.99 and I was like, oh my God, I need to have that in my collection. I can put it on my little pop figurine shelf and he can chill with all his friends. It's gonna be super duper good. But I figured for five bucks, why not pick him up? Let's have a look and see what it smells like. He's probably gonna smell like vinyl. Oh, okay. Yes, here he is, Oswald the Lucky Rabbit. Super duper cute, I love him. He doesn't smell that bad like vinyl, which is surprising, so. Yay for Oswald, he's gonna go on my shelf soon. And then the last thing in my haul today is from a bookstore. I went to a bookstore and picked up a book today. So, I'll show you guys what it is. It's one that I've actually wanted for a while. I asked for it for Christmas, but I never got it. And I never even saw it anywhere else besides like online. Or I know that they do sell them as well at Disneyland or Walt Disney World, because that's where I picked up my other one. The bag just fell. My copy of The Art of Finding Nemo book. So I figured I'd show you guys this one that I picked up today. It's The Art of Frozen book, yes. And I remember my one that I got from um, Disneyland, which was the Finding Nemo one, which I picked up last April, I think it was, was so expensive. It was either 45 or $50, I think, like around that price range, which is very expensive for a book, but I loved it and I needed to have it. Finding Nemo's one of my favorites ever, so I was obsessed when I saw it and I knew I had to have it. But when I was out shopping today at the bookstore, just randomly popped in there and I saw this and I was like, oh my God, Goodness, adorable, I didn't know that they sold it in stores, so super cute, and it was only 29 bucks, so cute. And it says that it was like regular, price isn't even in here, but it was around like $50 or something before. So 20 bucks off for an amazing book, and it's beautiful, like I have my Artified Nemo book on my coffee table, because it's literally like a coffee table book. And it goes through and shows like all of the like history of the animation and everything, how they basically created the movie, everything like that, so. Shows all like the character developments and like scenery and everything about the art of Frozen basically in the movie in this beautiful book. So happy that I have this now in my collection. I'm obsessed. It's gonna sit on my coffee table with my Anini Mo book and they're gonna be best friends. I don't know if books can be best friends, but they will be. So definitely if you want to enter that contest, leave a comment down below, say who your favorite Frozen character is, I'll pick you as a winner, who knows, I'm just gonna look around and draw though, I'm not gonna like go through and like pick somebody specifically, so just throw everyone's name in, do a random draw, and then if you're subscribed I can send you a message so that you can win and I'll send you Elsa in the mail and she'll come to your house and hang out with you. But other than that, that is the end of this video, so thank you guys so much for watching, remember to comment, like, and subscribe. You can follow me here on Twitter and all of my other social media links will be down in the more info box below, including my official Twitter, Tumblr, and my real official Facebook. Facebook page, you can go and like that, follow me on there, add me as a friend, I post a whole bunch of cool pictures of Disneyland trips and stuff like that, so definitely go check those out, and until next time, I'll see you real soon, bye!